the expensive bit of it is going to be the battery bank if you want any kind of range whatsoever. And even then, you're not going to get much range. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt. We're talking to Nigel Calder. Hi. Today's question is, my 45-year-old boat has a 20-year-old diesel engine. I'm at the point of deciding whether to rebuild the engine or simply pull it and install an electric motor with a solar and hydro generator. How would you recommend I think through this decision? Ooh, if you really like sailing, that's a great idea. Um, but yeah, what's, <laughs> what's your thoughts on this, Nigel? The expensive bit of it is going to be the battery bank if you want any kind of range whatsoever. And even then, you're not going to get much range. Electric propulsion on boats essentially only works if it's for short distances and then you've got some place where you can plug in and recharge. And that's because on pretty much all boats, when you start to get to cruising speeds, the loads are continuously high. In a car, when you're on the interstate or the motorway, when you're at cruising speeds, the loads are relatively light unless you're going uphill or there's strong headwinds. Uh, and so then we can get extended range out of cars, uh, nowadays 300 miles easily. But uh, in boats, it's totally different. When we're at cruising speeds, the loads are always high. And it doesn't matter what kind of a boat it is, unless it's foiling. And so then we don't get much range. Uh, and on a car, you can, like, if you decelerate, it recharges the battery. But exactly, yes. Uh, and we, we can't recover that energy in a boat. So if you want extended range, then you have to put a generator on a boat. And years ago, I did a ton of uh, expensive investigation funded by the European Union on, on the various economics and efficiencies of this. And we discovered that in most applications, if you've got a generator powering an electric motor in a boat, it's less efficient than if you took that generator engine and put it on the propeller in the first place. And it's very expensive to do that because you've got to have the generator and the batteries and the electric motor. And there's lots of single point failures in the system. So generally speaking, it doesn't pay. But for short applications where you basically just want to get off the dock, uh, put the sails up and go sailing, and then you come back and you, and you can plug back in and recharge the batteries, electric propulsion is terrific. Uh, and then if occasionally you need more range, you can put a generator in there. But recognizing that whenever you're using a generator, you're probably less efficient than you would have been with a conventional installation. So it needs to be for occasional use. All right. Well, thanks for your take on that, Nigel. And if you want to learn more about this, we actually have a bunch of uh, information on electric propulsion in our advanced marine electric scores. And about diesel engines, we just have launched a course where you can all learn about duty cycles and also for generators in case that's a route you want to go down to. So check out our courses at boathow2.com and see you soon.